Hello guys, welcome back to my channel AJS Kingdom. In this class, I would like to take topic from pediatric nursing. That is for BSc nursing third years and GNM second years and MS nursing speciality. And we have already discussed several topics regarding pediatrics. And from that, the first unit uh, important topic and several times asked question for five marks. That is trends in pediatric nursing. So when you say the trend itself there is a change so usually when we say trend is going on so regarding some songs regarding some dresses or regarding some jewelry or regarding some uh, costumes so like that there is a trend that specific changes have taken place in pediatric nursing that things i'm going to discuss so trends in pediatric nursing and when we speak this, there are lot of things happened previously in pediatric nursing, but that is all in outdated way and in that place they have replaced new things. That's why we are calling as a trend. So best example I'd say, previously when delivery happened uh, in, uh, in a hospital, the mother is treated in one hospital and child is treated in other hospital that we call it as a piecemeal method. The treatment was provided in different setups and different settings. So the child required a certain emergency treatment and immediately child need to be transferred to the other hospital. And because of that there is a, a huge uh, infant mortality rate and neonatal mortality rate is there. And after that they have taken a new step that holistic care. Holistic care means now you can see everywhere mother and child is treated in one hospital. That's why we see at mother and child hospitals, MCH hospitals, or uh, obstetrics and gynecological hospitals. So like that baby and mother is treated as in one hospital. So in olden days it is a piecemeal care and recent days the trend is holistic care. Holistic care means that every care is given to the child in the same setup in same setup and uh, it, it's not only so the first trend what we can see is holistic care so when you see this word itself you can say uh, the child is provided with every care at all the setups whether it is a preventive care promotive care or curative or rehabilitative any kind of care uh, it's given at same setup so that is called it as a holistic care and second one is advanced technology advanced technology in olden days uh, for identifying certain investigations they take lot of time and it is too expensive where it is not available for common people but in nowadays in all government hospitals also we can see there are a lot of advanced equipments can be seen especially for children and previously we can see with the identity beep cuff only we used to check but now every pediatric hospital has special BP operators and special BP cuffs like that there are different advanced technologies even in uh, canalization there is a lot of changes that there in previously when we tried to keep an uh, intravenous way uh, line we used to poke so many pokes for the newborn baby but now we have can see some infrared light with that we can see which line is clear and can we keep this line as IV line we can able to decide so that we can prevent damages or injury to the chain. So second uh, trend is advanced technology. And you can see a lot of invest in the investigations, in the treatment, uh, in the preventive care, uh, like a DNA analysis. So many things are happening that is all called it as a advanced technology. And in this technology, only I have used the word because of this technology, child is getting a less injuries because uh, instead of giving so much damage or injury to the child with using of advanced technology we are preventing or reducing injury to the child that we call it as a traumatic care a traumatic care means less traumatic absence or reducing a traumatic care so 
so that is atraumatic cannulis we are uh, reducing injury to the chain as much as possible as much as possible by using of advanced technology and fourth one is evidence based practice i think this is not only applicable in pediatric nursing it is applicable even in our all healthcare setup advanced so evidence based practice so when you see evp we can uh, say a very very important word previously any uh, modalities or any treatment were falling to the child we don't know whether it will work out or not but now we know everything whether it will work out or not that's called it as evidence based practice we have a proof we have several research studies on that aspects and they prove it it is working so that we call it as evidence based uh, practice and fifth important care is which i really experienced in day to day life also that is family centered care yes that is true family centered care how it is working means you can see like golden days the child was taken to the hospital inside and the child is treated as individual as individual only child will be provided whatever the treatment is required whatever care is required like that they used to provide a care but the curative or the uh, recovery rate of the child is very less so in recent days in the treatment of child they are involved in the family so what will happen if family or a known people are involved in child care their recovery rate will be very high because they ma mother and um, father is there and they are in the comfortable zone and they are ready to take medicines when mother is uh, next to the baby and in these all situations will help the child to recover very easily that's called it as a family centered care and next one is previously the pediatric care or a child care is a very expensive thing very expensive thing. and it is not available for common people suppose a baby born with a little hole in the heart and they have to sell all their properties and everything still they didn't get a proper care but now we can see a very great change that cost containment because the so many lot of uh, like lot of treatments are available in the ma market even in the government setups so what is happening is cost containment there is a reduction in the expenditure of pediatric care so cost containment is the next one and this is really true because so many hospitals are providing a free of cost treatment for heart surgeries and treatment for different kinds of even the cosmetic surgeries child born with a cleft lip or cleft palate in all these situations child is getting a best care so they are uh, able to afford at the same time there is a less uh, expenditure on their treatment modalities and the next one is seventh one is primary care seventh one is primary care means they are giving at most care they are giving at most care for every child because they want to reduce infant mortality rate and almost all category levels of child mortality and morbidity rate and that's why they are giving a primary care so primary care is given from the home itself if you get a child get any uh sickness immediately notifying and uh, early detection uh, and even uh, they are taking at most care from the preventive level so that is called it as a primary care and next a eighth important trend is preventive care and is, this is not only i am a pediatric uh, nurse but i strongly understood this situation preventive care they are more focusing on preventive care instead of curative in olden days they used to treat only the disease only the disease that's called as a curative treatment but the recent trend is preventive they are more focusing not after getting the disease treating the child effectively before itself what measures to be taken to prevent the disease best example t first scan if you identify certain types of any congenital abnormalities or severe abnormalities or if they are third month you are going for scan if you find that baby is born developing with some physical deformities 
or uh, severe congenital defects are there, if they want to go for medical termination of pregnancy, is possible so that we can prevent baby, a defective baby, born baby, and we can prevent certain types of complications also. And vaccination is the best example for preventing pediatrics. Among that, the Indian government is spending crores of money on polio to eradicate. Because the baby born with the polio or baby suffering with polio, it is a physical disability throughout his life, throughout her life. So to prevent that, they are taking a most care, prevent the polio. So that's called preventive care. And this preventive care is happening in different stages of life. Best example, iron folic acid tablet, they are insisting mother to take to prevent neural defects in the child. No, whether child born with neural defect or not, we don't know. But to prevent that, the government is taking a lot of measures to distribute iron folic acid tablet for all pregnant mothers. And next one is continuing of care. Continuing of care means um, they never stop in any stage. Okay, child born, it is healthy. Okay, you can take the home. No, they are continuing the care in different stages. That's a thing we can see even a uh, um, asha worker or after the delivery, they will go and check whether the child is healthy or not. If they identified any deformities, then they will report to the primary health center or they report to the higher centers or they refer to the higher centers. Continuation of care is there. That is the best trend we can see here in the recent days. Continuation of care. Uh, this is all different trends and uh, I think I have given a important all the information and this is important question for five months. Five months. And you just listen and write because this is a very general topic where everybody can just listen and write. And if you really like my class, please do subscribe and share. Thank you.